All right, so today we're going to look at the idea of lines. We have four points here, and if you connect them up, it looks pretty much like we have a straight line going on here. But um, we want to be able to check to see algebraically calculation to see whether these actually form a line. So the way we're going to do this is to compare the slopes. Slope is equal to rise over run. So we're going to compare the slope between this pair of points and the slope between the next pair and see whether they give us the same value. Delta y is the rate of change, or at least the change in the height, and that's going to be equal to 10 minus 4. Delta x is the change in the horizontal, and that's going to be equal to 7 minus 3. So that the rate of change between these two points is equal to, and again we use rate of change for now, 6 over 4, which reduces to 3 over 2. Remember, we're going to call this slope. Now, if this next point has the same slope, it means that these two must be on the same slant. Oh, you're saying right away that it's going to be a smaller triangle, can't be the same slope. But in fact, if I'm comparing between 1, 1 and 3, 4, 4 minus 1 for my y is going to be equal to uh, delta y equals 3, and 3 minus 1 delta x is equal to 2. And again, we have a slope delta y over delta x which is equal to 3 over 2. So we have the same slope between these two pairs of points. They're in a line. But now let's take a look at the third one and see whether we get the same result. Be careful, negative signs here make things a little bit more complicated. But the slope between these two is y minus y2 minus y1, which is 1 minus negative 3 equals 4. Double negative makes a plus. And between 1 and negative 1 is going to be 1 minus negative 1 equals 2. And the slope between these pair are going to be delta y over delta x equals 4 over 2, which is equal to 2. Different slope. That means these points are actually not in a line. So, a reminder, if all these points are in a line, they're going to have to have the same slope. If you actually drew this properly with a ruler, you would see that that line doesn't go through. 